Okay, I'm doing a draw my, yeah, a little draw my life, smiley faces. Yep. I'm going to just get to it. Yep, just get to it. Rup, and, whoa, let's grab all the stuff. Rup. Whoa. Dude. Okay, just ignore all that. Look how I was born in the little hospital. I know I don't have the dr best drawings in the world. In Stockbridge, Georgia. Yeah. Yeah, I am a December baby. I might explain why I like Christmas so much. Huh. A little more. And I always wanted a brother or sister, but couldn't do it. There's me. Yeah, I'm so sad, but whatever. There's and I'm happy. Yeah, I'm happy. Happy babyhood. And then uh, things started to happen. You know, I don't like to tell a lot of people about this. I was diagnosed with the disorder. Which prevents me from talking more than most people. I had to go to. I have to go to all these special classes. And it turns out I met this really nice guy. Like, he was amazing. Like, we would play. And everything was all happy. And preschool happened. Like, then my preschool teacher wasn't so nice. Yeah, she would slap all of us and put us in the corner. Yeah. No, May. Did not like that at all. And then things start to look up a little more. Now move to McDonough. Okay, okay, Megan, let's knock it out of ourselves. And I met Candy. She's a really cool person. And it was me. We'd always go to friends' house or each other's houses. I still talk to her to this day. Well, both. Happy. And then. Things were all good and happy and peaceful up until about I started to get picked on a lot. And everybody would call me weird and start laughing at me. Yeah, and that was really hurtful for me. And that continues until about eighth grade.
and everything was good. I was still getting picked on by my Girl Scout troop and some kids, but not nearly as bad. But the flip side is, this the year I got the most, the best grades. And sadly, same year I lost my grandfather. There's me. Yep. Did not like that at all. And I was really depressed, like sad, and really in a really bad depression. And felt like nothing was going to go. Up and. And I was pretty much like that until. Up until about. August 2007, when I met this one girl, her name was Courtney, she just moved here from California. Like, she was in my English class at the time, and we would sit together and play Wii, and she had a really cool sister. We still talk off and on. And I was then again like things were still good but I was really getting excluded from my Girl Scout troop a lot. I was always mad and everything and and this went on till everything else is good so everything else was good I'll get to that and then I ended up graduating from high school Yes. And off to into tier design. And one do that and was really happy about that. April of two thousand eleven struck and I realized That interior design really wasn't for me, but photography was, and started doing more of that. Yeah, I took all these nature pictures and all of that. Woohoo! I was really happy. Enjoyed everything. And. Up until about November 2011, when I first started, I first started, and then in 2012, like, I started going through a little bit of a depression. Like, nobody seemed to care anymore. And he wrote really sad stuff on Facebook. And then things really start to look up. September 2012, met all this, these nice people and finally got my driver's license. And turned 21 and all of that. And things were all good all except until, yeah, April. 
May 2013 when GW got sick and cancer. Then August 27, 2013 is when I lost GW. I really did. That's really me. Really did cry. And up until about fall 2013, things starting to look up and I was happy and everything else was happy. And I met my roommate, Carla. She's really amazing. Me and her friends got, got along really well and all of that. And things were good. And Christmas 2013 was really awesome. And to and I know I usually don't do videos today, but my little camera thing was messing up today. I sure hope you're still enjoying my Draw My Life video.